meet my personal assistant on WhatsApp that can do anything for me. From writing pickup lines, writing funny answers to the chats, getting more information about any topic, and it can even generate images just inside of WhatsApp. And that will make my conversations more interesting. And beyond that, it can also transcribe the audios in just few seconds. Doesn't matter how long your audio is, how noisy your environment is, it always comes up with accurate text. And I'm using this AI for a while now and I am really, really enjoying it. So I have my own personal assistant on WhatsApp and in this video, I'll show you how you guys can get yours. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the video. So just go to this website called chatlink.net. I will also provide this link in the description. So here they have displayed its features that you can use it as your a personal AI assistant just like ChatGPT and you can use it as your image generation tool and you can also transcribe your audios that I have already mentioned. And they also have shared some of the example images where they ask it to explain the plot of Titanic movie using emojis only and it came up with emojis only trying to explain uh, with rings, ships and love sign emojis and I think that's an interesting way to have conversation. Another screenshot where they ask it for an image of a koala with pink retro clothes and glasses with the background of a city and it generated exactly the same image and to be honest this is a really really high quality image. One more screenshot where they uploaded an audio for 30 seconds and asked it to transcribe that complete audio and I have personally tested this feature and it works really well with the transcription. So the access to this tool is so simple that you even don't need to sign up for that. Just click that chat now button and you will be redirected to this page. Then click continue chat. So if you are using a phone, you will automatically redirect it to your WhatsApp application. But in my case, I am using WhatsApp web, so I will continue with that. Now we are on a WhatsApp and it's loading our chat. So now we are on our separate chat for this A assistant just like a normal chat. So say hello to the bling. So let's ask it to do something for us. Hey, generate some pickup lines for us. So it does take some time to generate your answer, uh, but you don't need to worry about that long latency rates. Uh, it takes only a few seconds. So here we have a list of our pickup lines. Excuse me, is your name Google? Because you have everything I have been searching for. Hey, are you a magician? Because whenever I look at you, everything else disappears. I think it sounds cheap, so I'm not gonna get into that. I think it picked all of these cheap lines from TikTok videos. Hey, do you have a map? Why? Because I just got lost in your eyes. But I actually like this one. So it's really fun to use this AI model. Maybe you can impress someone uh, with these lines, but be careful before using this line. Well, it's funny to say that AI is now actually helping humans. So let's move on to the next part and try to generate some images. So if you will directly try to type and ask it to generate picture of a wolf or anything else, it will come up with this apologize message that I don't have the ability to produce images. So if you want to generate pictures, you have to type image before typing your prompt. Like type image first and then enter your prompt. Let's say a panda wearing glasses acting as a professor. So it came up with a message that it probably can take 2 minutes to generate images but according to me it takes less than a minute but it also depends on your internet connection. So it came up with this image where you can see the panda is wearing glasses but he is not looking like a professor actually but the image quality is pretty decent so I don't have any complaints with this. So this time I tried a raccoon wearing hat and what is this? Where's the hat? I think this AI feels jealous to the raccoon. So let's try something else. Let's say a portrait of a girl with blue eyes. Uh, so always remember to type image before typing your prompt as we type imagine in mid journey. So you have to type image before typing your prompt. So here's the results. And this one is actually a good image. And it's a little bit a blurry image, but the face and the facial features are fully proportional. So I don't have any complaints with that. So nowadays, AI is becoming more and more capable that it can even generate actual vectors that will never pixelate. So 
I recently made a video on Recraft AI that is the world's first text to vector AI generator. So I will highly recommend you guys to watch that video and I will also provide the link in the description. And if you want to stay updated with these type of AI tools, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So getting back to the topic, let's get some help from ChatGPT to get some new image ideas. So I asked ChatGPT to give me some funny image ideas. So here we have a list of some ideas, uh, but I like this one, a hamster dressed as a cowboy. So here's our hamster with the cowboy hat, but he looks very innocent cowboy. I didn't see such a cute and innocent cowboy before. So here is one more where a turtle is pretending to be a scuba diver, uh, but it doesn't really look like a scuba diver. It looks like a scuba diver is riding on turtle. But it's fun to generate these kind of images just inside of WhatsApp. And you can even uh, forward these images in just one click. So it's really convenient. So the last feature that I have mentioned that it can transcribe your audio. So you can record your audio on a WhatsApp or you can upload a pre-recorded audio. So I have recorded a random audio uh, just to test this feature. So this is a really bad condition. So just listen to this audio. So this is going to be a testing audio for the transcribe feature of Chatting AI. So as you can hear, I have I am in so much noisy environment. So I don't know uh, how this is going to work. So this audio is recorded in a very bad environment, uh, as you can barely hear me uh, because there is so much noise in this audio. But still, it did a very good job even with this kind of audio and transcribe it correctly. But instead of transcare, I said transcribe and instead of tracking AI, I said chat bling AI, but the rest of the transcription is correct. By the time I'm recording this video, this tool is completely free to use, but you also have limitation to generate images. And I think you can only generate 10 to 15 images, but aside of images, you can use it as your personal assistant. And I think it is more helpful than just generating images. So use it in that way. There's one more alternative that is also based on ChatGPT. To get that, all you have to do is just go to this link. I will also provide this link in the description. So continue to the WhatsApp. So here is your chat assistant and they are using ChatGPT logo means that this is purely based on ChatGPT. Maybe they are using OpenAI's API key on the backend. And this is from AdWappy. I don't know uh, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. They also have some premium plans, but I think the free plan is enough for us. So now we have two options, Chatbling AI and AdWappy AI. Now it's up to you, use whatever you want to, or you can use both of these AI models at the same time, because we are not paying for that. So that's it from this video. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.